Hey guys and welcome back to another enemy AI tutorial for Game Maker student. This will be an easy one. What you're seeing basically on the screen, a dude which is throwing those boomerangs and then they just go and then they just go back and of course they are spinning. Easy peasy stuff and I guess maybe you already know how to do that but let's do it the easy way of course. So without further ado, I'm just gonna skip the intro. This is one up in the hello subscribe if you haven't. Alrighty, so for, prep, for preparation, basically I just have two sprites, one of the uh, boomerang, which is centered in the middle, and then totally not Mario, of course I cannot use uh, copyrighted stuff, and therefore we're gonna do stuff which is, let's call it, similar. So let's have one object, and then have another one, and then for example one we're gonna call totally not Mario, because this is the dude which is throwing the boomerang, and of course, well, an object which is called boomerang, and... Okay, object, boomerang, here we go. And then of course the first thing which we're gonna do, just assign them some sprites, so the boomerang, the boomerang thingy here, and then the totally not Mario, the sprite. So here, uh, to just establish kind of a mechanism of spawning, we just have an alarm, and uh, well, the alarm needs to start somewhere, so we, we just basically say like, hey, uh, alarm 180 so we are triggering triggering after three seconds our alarm and then of course we want to re-trigger that dude so basically this thing is looping and then of course we can place our totally not mario let's go for example for here and then what we're gonna do in our alarm event we're gonna create our boomerang so var boomerang here we go not like this and then instance create and then of course layer once again fail <laughs> layer and then xy let's go a little bit above because our dude is centered at the bottom so a little bit higher and we're just taking over the same thing and then we're gonna spawn our boomerang for now nothing is really happening besides that we are spawning uh, boomerangs which are just stuck in one place and then what we're gonna do is well, send them in one direction, so boomerang that dot direction. And then because we want to go left, it is then 180. And then let's give our boomerang a speed value. Let's go for speed, or what do we have, five. And then let's check this out. Alrighty, what you're seeing is a pretty clunky looking uh, boomerang, which is not rotating, going to the left. And of course, we want to go that it goes to the left and then goes back. So how can we do this? Actually kind of easy because we are having counter forces, which are the same as, as speed and direction, and they're called gravity and gravity direction. And if you're thinking gravity, isn't that just for downwards? No, you can actually use it to go right. And then for example, we have a, a counter force here and basically then play just with the numbers of your speed and your gravity at which point you want to have kind of this turning back and of course our boomerang needs to spin around and therefore we just go and image angle now and then for example we just say like add it up to I don't know what did I use 10 and then we are basically finished so let's see and this is basically what we want to have go in one direction and then at some point gravity is catching up and then pulling it back to the other and then of course it's kind of speeding up a lot so let's actually see how that looks like at some point it's going like really fast <laughs> really fast yes so basically this is what you can do here and that was pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed this uh, small enemy ai tutorial not too substantial but i guess a pretty effective thing which i saw in what was it super mario world or one of those super mario games i thought like hey i haven't done that let's do it now and today have a good one one up in